Hello, this is Cheryl Arias Wicker with Christian Movie Connect, and we are with Bob Russell, who is an author, and uh, you were actually the pastor of one of the largest churches in America for 40 years, correct? I was a pastor of Southeast Christian Church in Louisville, Kentucky for 40 years. That's right. They couldn't get rid of me, and I stayed for 40 years. <laughs> Okay, okay. And so now you're continuing with your writing and um, and now have grown into something even beyond that. You actually had your first movie role this year. Yeah, I, I would have never guessed I'd be playing a role in a movie, but I really enjoyed it once we got into doing it. Uh, the movie is Acts of God, and it's an hour and 45 minutes long. And they asked me if I would do the teaching part because the movie was going to be broken down into six segments for small group study. And I agreed to do the teaching part. And then they said, you know what, if you're going to do the teaching part, there's a role for a preacher in the movie. It would really make it smoother if you would play the role of the preacher. And I said, I have never acted in my life. I, that'd be a new experience. And they said, well, you just got to be yourself. And so that made it a little easier, easier. Although I did discover that being myself wasn't good enough sometimes. We had to go back and redo it. But I, I got so I really enjoyed it. It was a stretch for me. But the reason I enjoyed it, Cheryl, is this subject about why God permits pain in the world is such a needed subject. And I think this movie goes to the heart of that question. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I, I think that's probably one of the things that gets in the way of so many people of believing because they've experienced pain and they can't come up with an answer and they write God off. Yeah. Well, we're hoping that a number of churches will take advantage of this opportunity, show this film, and then do the small group study. There's a book I've written called Acts of God that goes along with it. There's a sermon series that goes along with it. And it deals with this, this subject that is such a relevant subject for every Christian because when bad things happen to us, we all ask the same questions about if God loves me, why does he permit this to happen to me? A second reason we need this kind of material is probably the number one source of disbelief or doubt uh, from the outside world is, hey, if your God is all that powerful, why does he, why does he let little kids suffer? Why is there war? And Peter says we ought to be able to give a reason for the hope that we have. So we need to equip Christian people with some very tangible answers so that they'll be able to give an answer to these people who have questions. Okay. So you wrote a book about the acts of God, which explains uh, the problem of pain. And um, now they've made it into a screenplay. How was the process? I'm sure you were involved in that. How was the process of getting your book into a screenplay how did that pan out? Well, actually, the book is not the source of the screenplay. Uh, TBN asked City on a Hill Productions in Louisville if they would produce a movie that dealt with this question so that when there's a tsunami or where there's an earthquake, they would be able to uh, put this movie on television showing people that God was still involved. So City on a Hill then contacted me and asked me if I would cooperate with them in... Uh, doing a study, and we base the study on the life of Joseph. Usually when we talk about pain in the Bible, we go right to the story of Job. But the story of Joseph is one of my favorites because Joseph went through a lot of pain, dysfunctional family, being a slave, not being rewarded in a dead-end job, uh, forgotten by the cupbearer, uh, having to forgive his brothers, all those things he went through. And you know what? It wasn't over in a week. It wasn't over in two weeks. It was a prolonged period of a couple decades that he struggled with these questions. And there wasn't a Gideon Bible in the jail that showed him what was going to happen at the end. He, he had to just do the two things that I think God asked us to do in pain. One is we have to trust even though we don't know how it's going to turn out. And the other is we have to wait. So just uh, kind of uh, briefly summarize, um, you know, how the characters in the movie um, kind of um, e explained this issue. Well, there are three or four couples in the movie that their lives are interwoven with each other. One's dealing with cancer. One's dealing with infertility. One's dealing with post-traumatic stress syndrome. One's dealing with uh, the death of a child. And there are some horrible things that, that are happening. And it is so real, it is a heavy movie. 
Now, it has a positive ending. But when people go through pain, they go see this movie and they say, that wasn't hokey. That's what I experienced. That's the... These people had the same questions that people in real life have. And uh, I remember the, a, a doctor in the movie saying, if there is a God, he's a monster. What would you say to me, he asked, if I could heal a little girl and I don't heal her, you'd call me a monster. And when people see that portrayed on the screen, they, they realize, hey, other people go through the same thing, the same questions that I've gone through. You know, Cheryl, when people hurt, they really don't need a theological explanation. They need uh, emotional identification. They need to see somebody else has been through it. Somebody else had the same doubts, the same questions that I did. And you know what? They emerge victorious on the other side. And if they can do it, I can do it too. And that's what I think the, the real benefit of this movie. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure as a pastor, you've had so many of those times where you've had someone in your office and they weren't looking for the quick answers. I have seen this movie, I can't tell you how many times I've sit and watched it with people. I tear up every time because I have been there with people. And uh, I, I can almost name the people that said the very things that somebody in the movie said. And I was searching for an answer as a pastor, and there are no easy answers. But we have to come out, as this girl does in the end, and say, you know what? I still believe that there's a good God. I believe there's a heaven. I believe he's going to make all things right in the end. Well, we really hope this will bring healing to a lot of people and impact their lives in a powerful way and just really appreciate the role that you've had in it. Well, thank you. It was a privilege talking to you today. And so nice to finally meet you. I, you know, uh, I used to work for one of the publishing companies that you were with and never had a chance to meet you until today. So, so nice to finally meet you. Thank you. Good to meet you, Cheryl. Thank you. Uh, and thank you so much for being with us today on Christian Movie Connect. This is Cheryl Arias-Wicker. Have a good day.